We've had some weird sodas here on the show before, and they've never, ever been good. So, of course, let's drink some more! Good morning, everybody. It's me, Noah Galoot. Now, thanks to a food theater fan named Nancy Collins, who conspired with our old buddy Bruce, we now have these sodas that you see here before me. It's a fairly random assortment of uh, flavors and brands. The only thing unifying them is that uh, none of them should probably exist at all. She also got us some uh, ginger beer, but as ginger beer is delicious and normal, we decided to mix it with vodka to make Moscow mules off camera. So we were left with these. We have a uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper Bubblegum Soda, RIP, Joya Sparkling Pineapple Coconut and Nutmeg, uh, Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer, which is almost definitely some kind of a copyright infringement dealio with Harry Potter, whatever. We also have the original Dang That's Good Butterscotch Root Beer, and finally, uh, Moxie Original Elixir. Uh, now, this Moxie one gives no indication of what the actual flavor is, only that it's, quote, distinctly different. Which probably just means that it's uh, some f***ing cola, but with durian or some sh** in it, or some guy's balls. Hopefully not mine. Well, time to round up some tasted saffir so they can uh, drink a bunch of this sugar sh** with me, and then have a distinctly wrong colored pee later. Let's, uh, drink the office. Feed the office, drink the office, let's do them both. <laughs> Try some of this rowdy rowdy. Drink a dead man's soda. That is aggressively pink. Wow, that is bubble gummy. Oh, that, that like that artificial bubble gum yeah. flavor. Tastes like artificial bubble gum flavor, but I guess that was artificial to begin with, so they just took it out of the bubble gum vat and put it. They in did the soda what vat. they said they were doing. I expect it to be a little sweeter than it is. It is still very sweet, but I was expecting maybe the color pink and bubble gum. I was mm -hmm. expecting it to be like like cough syrupy. Or like if you were drinking Sprite but also had bubblegum in your mouth at the same time. This is accurate and not completely super overwhelming. I would never drink but it But I would on never purpose. ever drink it on I purpose. couldn't finish a full bottle. No, oh, by no. any means. No, but I'm not mad at it. I feel like that would make an interesting cocktail. Yes. No, it would. Yeah, well, no, yeah. Like for children? I, no. For children, yeah. So, as it turns out, I'm not able to read properly. Uh, this is not the one I said it was before. That's this one. This is actually a lime, hibiscus, and clove. And actually, I like all those things, so here we go. It smells heavy. It smells like bath water. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I, I'm not against it. it. Smells like bath salts, like literal bath salts, not the, the ones that make you zombies. Now this with a little gin might not be the worst thing in the world. That, I can I can see that working. That is tangy and very multi, <laughs> that you could make like a really good cocktail We were saying a little gin in that would be nice. Yeah, like straight up, just the straight soda is a little bit weird because I sort of want soda to taste more Bad simplistic. For you? <laughs> yeah. It's not. also, it's a big, Jump for your tongue and your brain after Rowdy Rowdy Piper chewing gum. Yeah, this is. I know this is for four-year-olds and this is for like forty-two-year-olds. I find this to be somewhat crisp and refreshing. Yeah, on ice, I, with the ice a little bit melted, mm -hmm. it's giving me like I a like nasty. This might make a nice, a nice, a, a nice shandy actually. Ooh! All right, now we're gonna try the one that I actually described earlier. This is the uh, pineapple, coconut, and nutmeg. Well, that's a potent smell. Uh, so you like this one? Yeah, I like this one. It's good. I like it. It's good. I like it. That's I thought good. it was going to, again, I thought it was going to be like a candy, like an overwhelming sugar candy, but it's not. This is my favorite so far. I would actually drink this one. Now yeah. I'm getting real sad. Why? The site says a magical brew. I feel like you bought it, like they're trying real hard to be Harry Pottery. Yeah, trying sure. to do like oh, the butter beer, but with the butter Oh, butterscotch. Yeah, they're just doing fake, it's fake butter beer. Mm, that smells like butterscotch candy. So you don't, you do not like butterscotch, you're saying? I don't like whatever this is. That oh, God. smells a lot like butterscotch. It's oh, f this. It's, <laughs> oh, I'm not a fan of this at all. <laughs> this reminds me of when I used to get drunk on butter shots. It, it does taste like butterscotch. It Werther's in water and then put bubbles in it. That is oh. spot on. That is very accurate, but not very pleasant. See, I went to Harry Potter World recently, and this this isn't quite as good as the butter beer they have there, but it's pretty close. Do you get drunk on butter beer? No, it's just it's this. It's In real life, do you get drunk on butter beer? Like if you were Harry Potter? I think the house elves get drunk on butter beer. I want to be a house elf. This is the part where I blow my brains out. <laughs> I will say this: I was expecting worse. Cause here's like grandma's underpants. This with some Jim Beam in it. Except a grandma's purse. But it, it's not very carbonated. Is it poos or purse? Are you kidding? There's like giant it's not bubbles super in carbonated. No, it's not very carbonated. I mean, like, I get that there's bubbles in it, but it doesn't taste very carbonated. You're not living up. Next. I feel like we're wine tasting and you're just like the little spit cup in the middle. 
Yeah. <laughs> It was that way to me too. If you like butterscotch, it's just gonna be your jam. It's just, yeah, it's like a more butterscotchy cream soda. It seems yeah. very accurate. Yeah. Dang, that's good. <laughs> oh, it's gluten free. <laughs> it this smells, smells more, more like, like root beer. beer. I don't know what flavor this is supposed to be. <laughs> this smells like sassafras. Sassafras. That's a fun word to say, is sassafras. That tastes like root beer, not really like butterscotch. Kind of tastes like cream soda a little bit, right? Oh, I meant to say sarsaparilla, not sarsaparilla. Yeah, yeah, you did. Can we edit that out so it's show that I'm smart? Sarsaparilla. What's sarsaparilla? Sarsaparilla is like an old, it's like the original root beer flavor. It's like birch beer. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is like root beery. It's root beer. It, I don't really get the butterscotch from it. It is better than the butterscotch one. It's disgusting. It's kind of like you mixed cream soda and root beer. A little bit. I wish it were I mean, more like if you like root beer more mm. than cream soda, then yeah, it is. It is better. It's just a more, it's a higher quality product regardless of the flavor. Yeah, but I've had better root beers. Sure. If I had to choose between the butter, scotch, cream soda, and this, I would choose this, but I find it absolutely disgusting. Well, I don't want any of this. All right, now we're off to uh, Moxie from 1884. Mm. Okay, so Moxie is one of my favorite things about American history because it came out at around the same time as Pepsi and Cola, and it came from Maine. It came from garbage flavor that it never made it very far past Maine. There's a couple of states that sell it, but every year in Maine, they have a parade. It's weird, you can go to the Moxie, like the old Moxie store, and it's orange, and people come out dressed as the weird, creepy little mascot. There's these like little orange toys. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Uh, so this is Moxie, which is an old soda from the 1800s. And then if uh, Cruz had a very long story about it, which I did not listen to. Uh, I'll tell you about my brother like that. Bruce? Yeah. So what I have what I heard described this flavor before that I did not find completely inaccurate is Dr. Pepper with a cigarette put out in it. Um, I don't know that that's fair. Um, this is like Nurse Pepper. It does taste like Dr. Pepper that's slightly off. Like when you're cleaning out your spice cabinet, and the cabinet still smells, but there's nothing in it. It's like when you spill a root beer in your spice cabinet and then drink it after. Oh, I definitely have to diarrhea all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. I don't I don't hate it, but I don't like it. But they make amazing shandies. Half beer, half moxie is actually oh, really it, yeah. good. You know what sounds better to me than that? What? Is all beer. One other thing we discovered from all these sodas is, is if you news? drink them all in a row, you kind of need to diarrhea pretty soon. Okay, so let's, I mean, so. so let's all hold hands while I start. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so in a new trend here in the food feeder, it seems like we are uh, reaching a consensus on most of the stuff we're tasting. These little uh, fancy pants uh, spiced doodads are our favorites. And then uh, the worst has been the moxie, and then somewhere in the middle, depending on your preference between butterscotch, root beer, and bubblegum flavors, these guys are all kind of rounding out the middle. Uh, so yeah, but you know, we've definitely had worse soda on this show, I'll tell you that much. So thanks again to Nancy Collins for getting these for us, I guess. Well, you could have done a lot worse, so thanks for not doing that. That's it for this one. I'm Noah Gluten. Subscribe to Taste It, where the audience is now plotting against me on a weekly basis with the aid of the Taste It staff, no less, right here on the Food Feeder.